All right, welcome back to another Gundam Arsenal base link stage ranked battle. Today we're gonna continue to mix up the team. We're kind of trying to refine my little uh, wing seed, which for Mercury team. Uh, once again, we're gonna have duo on the long range variant where it shoots the shield. It's not ideal, but once again, I didn't have the melee version of Death Scythe with me, and I kind of wanted something interesting to keep the cost of this team down while also having two base attackers. So we're going to deploy Duo, he's going to go invisible, we're going to activate our operation card which gives me plus 10 to cost, we basically have a full cost meter so that leaves me wide open to deploy the Ferrat with Shattuck. Ricardo Fellini is going to be in the new Gundam to do some pretty good damage, we're going to activate the Ferrat's ability which is a stun, we're going to get Fellini stunned right near the base, that way he can do take extra damage from the base. But since our cost is so good at the moment, we're going to deploy the Wing Gundam as well. Here comes the first uh, chink in the armor, so to speak. This guy's got Kira with the Sazabi on defense. This is actually not a terrible idea because the Sazabi is a monster on all points. So having the Sazabi as a defender is a pretty solid idea in my mind. I, I think it can do a ton of damage, it should be pretty tanky. Uh, yeah, it should be uh, more of a difficult unit to get down than the usual ones. Either way, there goes Ricardo Fellini. As you can see, I kind of uh, preempted the destruction of Ricardo and moved to the other side of the field with the Wing Gundam to defend against Saleta because she was coming down as a, as a base attacker in the Justice Gundam. This is pretty interesting to see Justice on base attack. I don't use Justice on base attack because Justice's main ability, uh, at least in the melee variant, I'm not sure which one this person's using it. Most likely the, most likely the U rare melee variant with a base attacking Saleta. So that's that's interesting. But its ability is a stun, so it's kind of a waste to use it as a base attacker, in my opinion. Okay, Saleta is going to go down from the free uh, from the Wing Gundam on my end. This guy's also got to deal with uh, Ricardo Fellini on my end with the Miguel's Jin, and they're going to use the usual ability of summoning the uh, rocket attacking Jin, and it's doing solid work against the free, uh, the Sazabi. Sorry, <laughs> this person's also going to use Aerial Atherin as well, which I used in a previous match. Once again, it's not ideal, but it works. We're gonna use the Justice to stun, and we're gonna get one or two more hits in for the Sazabi to take it down. Uh, this person's team is on the ropes at the moment. We're doing solid work. It's, we're doing pretty efficient work here. We got the Feract fighting against Atherin, and the Death Scythe is coming in for a, to attack the base. This person has no defender at the moment, so it'll get its full damage in. Okay, our cost is finished, so we can put the free, uh, the wing gunnam. I keep wanting to say freedom. We can put the wing gunnam on the base defense again. Not going to waste any time with the new gunnam here. But we are going to use an SP attack to do as much damage as possible. Here comes the Buster rifle. Won't be able to take it down because the new gunnam is pretty HP heavy, but it should be able to do more than 50%. Definitely, 339. Yep, did about 40% damage, and uh, with a base attack and the uh, new, the Wing Gundam doing some damage, the New Gundam's going to go down pretty pretty darn quick. New Gundam activated an SP attack against the base. There's no real reason to do that, especially with a defender right there. But uh, this person seems to be getting a little impatient here. They just wanted to get their little percentage of damage in. Okay. Atherin's pilot ability activated where he gets a bit of a HP boost. But my second SP attack is ready to go and they still haven't deployed any defender there so we're going to do Death Scythe Gundam's SP attack. Once again, melee, uh, long range variant. Did 274, pretty good. But when you use an SP attack with an invisible unit, it makes that unit revealed so Death Scythe is going to going to be revealed and try to do as much damage as possible. This person is going to activate their Bridge Flowers Operation card, which gives plus 10 costs, giving them the ability to deploy their last defender in the last card. It is Elon in the Freedom Gundam, which is pretty interesting to see. 
Freedom is good on all points. It is the best card in the game. It'll easily defend that base if it had any more HP, <laughs> but I'm not too worried about it. Here comes Soleta coming down the right side. I don't know why he deployed her on the right side. It might have been more efficient to deploy her on the left side to make me have to spend the cost. There goes that left side base. It has gone down for the red team. Uh, we're going to have Atherin in the Justice Gundam attacking the race directly. We're going to have Ricardo coming up behind him pretty slowly. The Sazabi is getting redeployed once again. Thankfully, Atherin's ability, uh, the Justice Gundam's ability, is ready and rare to go. So we're going to lock on and we're going to stun this thing. It did quite a lot of damage, did basically half damage to the Sazabi. Got the 60 second warning, so cost meter is going to increase a little bit faster now. So let's just gonna do a direct attack against this base, but once again, I'm not too worried. We're kind of pretty far ahead against this guy. Match isn't done yet, but I, I think I got this one in the bag. Did direct damage, he's gonna take this base down. Good for you, sir. Yeah, it's only a 20% difference, so we got to not ignore him entirely, but we're going to deploy the Wing Gundam down there to defend our main base. Activated Ricardo Fellini's SP attack a little too early. <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping the Justice Gundam would get like one more hit in and destroy the Sazabi, but it didn't, so activated it a little too willy-nilly. I think here I was in my brain thinking I'm going to activate that against... Uh, Soleta, but I didn't, so. But it doesn't matter because he's deploying both base attackers instead of going for that left base again. Once again, I don't know why. I think if he would have done that, he would have gotten ahead because I would have had to uh, consider Soleta again in that situation, but. Uh. Okay, we're gonna deploy the Death Scythe Gundam against the main base here. Uh, his big option here is to redeploy the Freedom Gundam again to defend his main base. But he hasn't done that yet, and I don't know why, so we're just going to take advantage of it and not even worry about it. Okay, there goes the Justice Gundam on his end, and now free, uh, Wing Gundam is free to attack the new Gundam as well. He's not really doing much damage because I have base defender, and his main base is just getting ripped apart by pot shots right now from two red attackers and two blue attackers. Basically, my whole team is right there. Okay. And the Death Scythe is going to get in that last hit while it's invisible, no less. Pretty awesome. That is the match I won. It is 60% to zero. I kind of thrashed this guy a little bit, but his team was actually pretty interesting and pretty solid. I think if he wouldn't have wasted SP attacks against defended bases, I think I would have been in trouble. But yeah, his team was interesting to play against. Uh, that was it for this match. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy me not being one of those people who's only using Freedom Gundam books as, once again, I don't have it yet, but if I have it, you'll see Freedom. <laughs> anyway, that was the match. Thank you for watching. Hope you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you're watching this on TikTok. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like. Please uh, hit up the YouTube and also like, follow, and sub there as well. But yeah, that is it. Good night. Good game. That was another arsenal base match. Stay tuned here for more Japanese arcade exclusives, more Japanese games in general, and just more gaming in general from me. I'm Valkyrian, and hope to see you again next time. Good night. Good game.